collapses in less than six months. The question is, how can this happen? WCNC's Bobby Sisk dug up information about the deck in question today, and our complete con coverage of this story continues now from the newsroom. Bobby? Well, hi there, Sonia. Here's the county info sheet on 6100 Fairview Road. I found this today, owned by a company in Addison, Texas. The building and its adjacent parking deck were built 21 years ago, and it seems today's collapse is just as rare as the one in December across the road. Medic's Eric Morrison says, what are the odds? This is the only two I've ever responded to. Two deck collapses within six months of each other and so close together. Kind of uh, deja vu to have these this close together and really just across the street from each other. I saw the uh, helicopter photos and the helicopter video on uh, the website. Dr. David Young is the chairman of the Department of Civil Engineering at UNCC. I think it's very rare. He's investigated structural failures through the years and says it's important to distinguish what appears to have happened here, the panels just collapsing, and what happened at South Park Mall are very different. Because the one that happened back in December, sure. that was an extreme case where a heavy vehicle at a high speed applied an extreme load and damaged that structure. The only similarity, he says, both decks were built with precast concrete panels. They're poured in a fabrication plant somewhere else, then hauled in and secured among a system of columns and beams. Dr. Young's most educated guess for what went wrong here? Probably um, a flaw in the connections. And with so much construction in that part of town, Dr. Young tells me he would also check into blasting records for construction sites nearby. Now, the county does inspect parking decks when they are first built. After that, unless there is a complaint, it is up to the deck's owner to make sure that it's structurally sound. Reporting live now in the newsroom, Bobby Sisk, Carolina's News Connection. Now, we just received a statement from the property manager, C.B. Richard Ellis. It says that the company is working closely with investigators and that they are fully committed to identifying the cause of the accident and will take appropriate action when all of the facts are known. Our coverage of the day.